Welcome back guys for another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today is a quick tip on using uh, blurring on your masks when compositing to really kind of smooth your effects together. Um, saves a lot of retouching time. Uh, we're gonna take this window here and put it put another one lower down on this uh, whatever this is called lighthouse. There we go and use the tip I'm speaking of. So if I was to take this window, and it would be a little larger down here, let's say I want to put that window right on the side of the lighthouse. I can hit the layer mask button here, it kind of looks like the hole punched out of the card in your layer palette, and then use some black to paint where I don't want the image. So let's just scrub most of that out. It doesn't have to be exact, that's kind of the point of this tip. And actually that looks surprisingly good, but most of the time it's not going to match up that well. Like let's adjust our photo here so it's a little more obvious. Make it a little darker. There. So if we were to, you know, put this somewhere else in the document and it's not, it's very clearly a different uh, tonality. Once you have your layer mask, uh, if you were to just go to filter and blur and um, Gaussian or Gaussian blur is a very general blur. Um, it's <clears throat> perfect for this kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> what you do is you unlink your layer and your layer mask and then select just the layer mask. You should see a little uh, box go around it when you do. Um, and it's just a good habit to get into of unlinking those because if you accidentally have them linked with one selected, um, you can gauge and blur your pixel data as well. Um, pick just the layer mask and then go to filter, blur, gauge and blur. <clears throat> and you can see your layer mask here as kind of just a general shape. And then if you blur it, um, in this case pretty substantially, it'll smooth out all of that um, rough edge where the two colors didn't match. And anywhere where it doesn't match, um, like if your blur is too severe, you're going to hit the edge of your layer like I did here. You can just uh, paint the rest of that out. But, and then relink them if you're going to ever plan on moving it in the future. But by doing that, you can soften the edges of your edit so that while someone who thinks this might have been um, adjusted in Photoshop might be looking for a crisp edge where you kind of cut around there, your layer mask is actually this kind of nebulous blob all around here. So where the original was and where your new one is, is hard to distinguish where the difference is. So by doing that, um, it's only in instances where the color change is so severe that that's not going to work. And in instances like that, you can just take your um, take your layer that's off and just adjust the hue and saturation or whatever you need to do to get it to match. Looks like a little bit of darkness should do it. Yep. So basically, the tip is to blur your layer masks pretty severely because, as we all know, with blur, it'll hide any imperfections in your editing. Uh, and it saves a lot of time from having to, you know, clip right around this perfectly or brush out this and edit that. If you just make a real general um, layer mask, like I'll we'll do a new one real quick. Just make a real general one. So in this case, it would be right around the porthole. Call it good. Unlink them. Blur the mask, and all of a sudden, those that obvious box of um, editing just smooths right into the background. Uh, and if it if it's blurred to the point where you lose some of the clarity of your original object. Uh, just switch to white and make sure you paint that part that you really want 100% white so that it's still there. But this method will help really soften your edits into 
um, any any product works or any uh, background photo works great when you're um, fixing imperfections in you know food photography or product photography uh, you can really just kind of smooth your edits throughout the whole piece so that there's no one particular place where someone can go aha that's Photoshop there's something wrong right there um, so very useful tip if you ask me if you have any questions uh, shoot them to me on Facebook Twitter YouTube whatever uh, it's the internet and hope it was helpful